Today, I want to talk about one of the most powerful tools you can know how to use when playing World of Warcraft, and that is simming. Specifically in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, the, the most popular one is the WoW Sim website. That's the one we're looking at right now. I want to show you the basics of how you can use this site for any class, but also give you a little bit, uh, a few tips here and there for uh, specifically warriors uh, and DPS simming for warriors. So a couple of things we're going to talk about is how to set up your settings, how to save presets, how to test and compare builds, how to use advanced settings, how to save builds not to lose data, and how to download the local sim tool. I'll have all of these things down below in chapters so you can easily skip to the part that you want to talk about. So let's talk about how to set up the settings. So obviously when you first go on the website, you can pick the class. In my case, we're going to pick the DPS warrior and you're going to be greeted with your gear. You're obviously going to pick and choose all the gear you want and you're going to set it up here. So before we talk about anything else, so we can go over to the settings. This is the most important part that you want to set up properly. So that way the numbers that you see are always consistent. So it's, it's very important to test with the same settings when you're swapping gear because you want to keep the settings a constant and have the gear be the change. So you know that the gear increase is actually what's causing the DPS increase, not the actual sim settings. It doesn't matter if you have the wrong settings, as long as your settings are the same, you're going to know if it's an increase or decrease. So I, I always keep the encounter the same, right? It's a three minute encounter and pretty standard here. Rotation is, is pretty important, right? And that this is what I have, uh, how I have it set up for Fury Warrior. I do have a more in-depth part for it, but we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. Obviously using Rend, Bloodthirst is our main ability. Uh, this is the uh, minimum rage you need to have. If you have less than 12, it's not going to try and queue Heroic Strike. We have it set up at 12 because that's the cost of Heroic Strike. If the boss is under 22% health, it's not going to use Rend and it's going to use Rend if you're anywhere between 0 and 100 rage. We're always going to use our abilities over Execute because Execute as a Fury Warrior is not good. We're testing so we're not applying Sunder, so we don't have that uh, part influencing us, but we can always obviously switch this if we want to test how much of a difference it is. And then Demo Shadow and stuff like that. Here uh, we have player buffs. Are you going to be keeping up one of these buffs? Are you going to be using Recklessness? Are you going to be using Shattering Throat? The race, the professions, what pots you're going to use. Obviously, you can play with this. This is assuming this is your pre-pot. This is your pot during the fight. Flask or two elixirs, food, the uh, and then the engineering stuff. Starting rage, munching, and stuff like this. I never really touch any of this stuff. Uh, like Inferno Target, whatever. You can also play with this if you want, but I don't really touch it. Raid buffs. I always make sure that I have all the raid buffs, assuming the best case scenario. Obviously, the only thing I don't have is uh, the whatchamacallit, the uh, the hit from Draenei because I'm I'm forward. And if you wanted to save one of these presets and have it set up like a three minute Fury Warrior, so a three minute fight, we can save the encounter and then we can save the standard Fury. Let's call it basic Fury settings because it doesn't have the advanced settings. And whenever we click this, we can go there. And we can have stuff like, let's say, armor pen basic, because this is armor pen food, and then we can have strength basic with the strength food. So I can just swap between the foods. So that's one of the examples, right? All right, so we have the, these settings. Now, obviously the next settings are talents, but not much to go into here. Just make sure you have all the talents you want to have, and then you just go with that. I do want to check one thing out. Did they add the Glyph of Shattering Throw? They didn't add it in yet, so. All right, and here you can kind of apply the same process. Let's, for example, here I have my improved shout build and i have my higher dps build uh those are the builds i talked about in my previous video with the uh with the warrior builds so you kind of have sort of uh two builds here all right so that kind of goes over all the settings the basic settings there's not much else to it i kind of went over the next step which is saving presets so you obviously have these presets and the settings you have the presets and the talents and you have the presets in the gear so it's pretty straightforward like i said i mean you you, you make any changes and then uh you just type it in let's say we want to swap these pants for whatever reason we swap the pants and we say new pants and we're going to save the gears right here so we can always switch between all of our sets and it makes it super simple so the reason why this is very important is for the next step it is for comparing so how do we compare i'll make this only a 3000 iteration uh, sim just to make it super easy so when i sim 
for example, this right here, it's going to sim 11,500 DPS. So if I click save as preference, it's going to put this number as the reference. And then let's say we go to our high armor pen build and we simulate another 3000. We're going to see right here that the high armor pen build is 18.53 uh, DPS less. So let's say we want to have this be our baseline. So we just literally cancel and do another save preset. Now this is our baseline. So we, if we go back to our soft cap and we test it again, we're going to see an increase in DPS of 7.28. Now this is only 3000 iterations. So there's obviously a big difference in numbers. I'm going to show you a bit later how to do like 20, 30, 50,000 iterations very fast, because if you did it off the website, it is annoyingly slow. That's how you test and compare. You obviously, like we talked about, keep the setting the same, keep and switch to gear, or you can also do the opposite. You can keep the gear the same. Let's say we have this, this is our uh, soft cap. And let's say, oh, okay. So let's say, what would be the difference if we did an indestructible potion instead of a potion of speed? So we're going to check this out and it's going to tell us it's going to be pretty much the same one less dps again these numbers not that accurate because we're only using 3000 iterations but you get the point so you can kind of mess with that how much dps am i, am I gonna lose if i if i apply commanding shout let's see we're gonna lose 30 dps you know stuff like that pretty straightforward in order to kind of get the gear properly in here you have two options you can manually add all the gear a bit of annoying or you could import so the easiest way how to import it is you download the add-on right here and once you go to the add-on import and you can import settings from the wow sim importer in-game add-on if you click on this it's going to get you to curse forge all you do is you download this add-on you install it and then you run it in game you literally just open up the add-on it says export you click the export you copy the string and you paste the string in here and you click import and it's going to import all of the gear talents and glyphs from your current build and then you can save that as a preset and then add or remove gear to kind of do the testing. So if, for example, you have the BIS slot here and then so we want to have our live set. So we would import our stuff in here from the add on. We would have we would save a preset for our live gear. And then if something drops and we want to see if it's better, all we got to do here is we switch the the item see if we have to mess around with any gems do a quick sim and then we see is it going to be an upgrade or not so that's kind of uh, going over all of that stuff the next step here is using advanced settings so this is going to improve it a little bit so i'm going to do a, a little a very quick 10,000 iteration sim here and i'm going to skip the video here so you guys don't have to watch through it I'll actually 20,000 here one eternity later all right so we're looking at 11,494 DPS, right? I'm going to put that as a reference and uh, we are going to go to uh, show some options and we're going to enable show experimental. Make sure not to click restore default. This happened to me way too many times. <laughs> I, th I think this is okay. And then it resets everything. Just click the X sign. And now it's going to open up a new tab here, which is batch. This stuff, I haven't really played too much with it but i'll kind of go over this in another video but what this does here it enables a manual rotation the website is a bit bugged so it doesn't show up at first you in order to enable it you have to just do a quick uh, the main gcd do a quick change of it just to kind of refresh the website and you see when i changed it it popped up here custom rotation when i click on this the main gcd one disappears and now we can add spells so in my case i need like four or five uh bloodthirst is our main whirlwind slam rend execute that's our kind of our rotation if we wanted to change it we can move it up move it down whatever we want to do so now we have instead of just choosing our main rotation or our main gcd we can actually say what our actual priority list is. So we can do another layer of testing and actually see what the best rotation or priority list for my current gear is. Because for example, like slam in phase one was so strong, you wanted to use it over bloodthirst. But then once we got into phase two, we got a bunch of gear. Slam is now under whirlwind and you can test this out. So let's do a quick here. So we, we had just our, our basic settings. This is your DPS. So with the new settings here with the with the uh, manual rotation, we're going to do another simulation. See you in a bit. One eternity later. All right. So as you can see, no settings changed at all. The only thing that I changed was 
I put in my manual rotation, we have 40 DPS. So this shows you that the sim, the automatic sim doesn't have the most optimal rotation built in, which is fine. Uh, like even if you didn't use the advanced rotation, if you kept the settings the same and just changed the gear, you can see if it's an increase or not. At the end of the day, the sim numbers don't matter. You just want to see, is it more or less? It doesn't matter by how much. You really don't care about the kind of the, the background of it. The numbers don't have to be specifically accurate. Now, if you want to go and go into the nitty gritty of it, you can actually mess with this stuff and you can kind of, every time you change your gear, you, you do multiple tests with multiple rotations and see based on the new gear that I got, is my rotation going to be different now? What's the most optimal rotation? Obviously there's more nuance to it. Like for example, the cleaves and stuff like that. It's a bit harder to test that, but for pure single target, this is kind of the way to go. The next step is after you have all of these settings set up, you have all of your presets and everything, but you want to kind of have a backup. So you can always export this stuff and there's multiple ways of exporting it. Like for example, this uh, string of code and you can download this as a file. Let's see, we just downloaded it right here. And if you go to import JSON and upload file, we can, we can have the file uploaded right here. Kind of save all of our settings so that if we change browsers, change computers, or we have to do some sort of reset, we always have our settings saved. So that way we don't have to redo everything. All right. So the last thing is the actual local SIM, because as you saw, I had to cut the video and it, it takes about a good 10, 15, 20 seconds to render 20,000 iterations. Like for example, if you wanted to do your stat weights, those do like 100, 200, 300,000 iterations, and it takes a long time, but I'm going to show you this right here. So if you go to here, it's right next to the cog wheel, download simulator for faster simulating. When you go on this website right here and you download the, uh, this one right here, you download it, it's a zip file. And then once you download it, and extract it, you kind of get this, uh, this little icon right here. It is an application. So if we double click this and run this, it opened up on a different screen. So I'm going to pull it over here. It opens up the same exact website, but now, as you can see, if you look at the link here, it says localhost 333 Wrath of the Even though it's on the browser, it's actually running locally and it's actually using the resources of your PC to do the renders. So if we go over here to the warrior again, we have our, our setup here. Now, obviously, because all the stuff is saved in the cache of the browser, when you run it locally, it's not gonna carry over all of the settings from your uh, previous main browser. We downloaded the uh, WoW some JSON icon. If we go over here and we import that here real quick, let me find that right here. We have all of our settings. Importing settings doesn't import the actual presets. As you can see, all of my settings are the same, but I don't have any presets saved. As you can see, these are all presets, So I would have to manually. Okay. This is my phase three fury soft cap. So why I wanted to show you this is I have 20,000 iterations now. If I hit simulate, it literally is done in, in, in like less than five seconds. See, it's already done. And why this is important is if I have 20,000 iterations and I do the stat weights and I do calculate, it's going to do it very, very fast. Like if you try to do this on the browser, it would take at least a couple minutes. It's already done. So I already have my stat weights. And as you saw there, the stat weights, they take the amount of iterations that you have on the baseline and it, it does more, like I think five times more iterations. So it does like a hundred plus thousand when you have to 20,000 iterations and, and you can easily get your stat weights. So this way you can actually do multiple like 20, 30, 50,000 iteration runs when you're testing for the BIS or whatever, without having to sit there and wait every single time. So that kind of sums up all of this. If you guys want to check out my BIS list for phase three that I've kind of played around with, uh, you can check out the video right here. If you enjoy the content and want to see more warrior world of Warcraft classic content, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one.